Here's another home for sale in Musumeli, Sicily. Now we aren't agents, but we do show houses that are available for sale because it's so hard to find things online and I love looking in houses. This one's offered for 25,000 euro. It is negotiable. It includes most of the furnishings. They're just taking a few sentimental things. This first room is ideal for a living room. It has nice tall ceilings. The whole house really does. I love the domed look. I'll show it to you again in a second. I want to point out there's storage underneath the um, stairwell. This room also has a balcony that faces, it's right above the front door. Up to the right is parking and a pharmacy, and down to the left is also some parking. You don't park right in front of the house, but it's very, very close. I love the dome ceilings. There is a crack in the ceiling. Most of the repairs are on the walls and the ceiling. It's just really plaster. The floors are in great shape and the tiles are in great shape. This bathroom does have a combined washer dryer right there and a washing sink. I take both of those out. The, room, the bathroom will be much larger. You could put a shower there in the back and relocate the toilet. There is a bathroom with a shower on the next floor up, but you could have one here as well. There's more storage underneath these stairs and big room for the kitchen. So at least you have a starter kitchen, but I get a new kitchen. That wall right there is not load bearing. So you'd be able to open it up. This, I'm going to show you a picture at the end with this little space. It's kind of an outdoor space with the terrace could look like if you want to change it, but this wall could come out and then you have a nice open area, have the dining table here, have a kitchen against the wall, a nice island um, with some chairs just to, to have, you know, kind of a breakfast island. That would be great. So a, a big, huge space. So this would be the living area floor. I love the tiles too. See the walls. It's really, the house has been vacant for some time. If you just scrape that off and replaster, structurally things are great. Um, the stair, the marble stairs are all in perfect condition and the stair rail is really strong also. This room is the one of the larger ones. There's two on this floor. This one's larger. I love the tile. This is a view of the Musumeli Castle. So a terrific view. The only problem I have with this room is the wallpaper. The wallpaper is in great shape. It's just very green and does not match tile. And also these beautiful ceilings does not really match these beautiful ceilings. So, but the crown molding's terrific. There's kind of a medallion thing where the chandelier is. This room is a beautiful shape other than I'm not a fan of the wallpaper. This will be the first hidden space I'm showing you. This door can be enlarged and there's a whole nother room back there. So imagine if that was the kids' room and this could be their playroom or have, you know, all the toys in here, draw some murals, whatever you want to do. Or you could all have this as a walk-in closet, perhaps add a bathroom and a walk-in closet, both because you have the space for it and have this as the main bedroom. Um, but first, hit, first of the three hidden spaces, this is really great. The bathroom on this level, everything's in fine shape. It's just dated. Um, the tiles are in great shape. Again, a unique color, um, but everything's fine. You don't, These are wants to change them out, not needs, which is a great way to start off. This floor is insanely beautiful. You'd have to clean it up. And yes, the ceiling needs work. But again, it has that beautiful crown molding, the nice doming, and it has um, a Juliet kind of um, window. Okay, now prepare yourself because this top level, you need to know it's about potential, not about what it is right now. It um, is scary, <laughs> and, but again, it's about the potential. I do believe pigeons lived in here. That's okay because they don't anymore. But this could be a rooftop terrace. You could open up the roof, have clean everything out, have patio furniture, and then you'll be having that view of the castle up here. In the meantime, just keep the door closed and don't even think about it. The stairwell is nice and large and we're going back all the way down to the very front. This is the second hidden space you're going to find. This room is super big. It is... It could be a studio apartment. It could have a, you know, a wet bar, a game room, pool table, whatever, or it could be an in-law suite or the third bedroom. We're going to point out here how you can enlarge this door a little bit. It's probably about six inches up you could go and maybe um, four to six inches to the right to enlarge it. Not a whole big 
area, but there is another door on the outside that um, has access. So you can access it there or through the stairwell. So that's the second of the hidden spots that um, is just extra space. The third one, so there's that's the door that goes into that space. And there's a balcony that was right above that we saw off of um, the first floor up. Now, this is the side of the house. That door right there is storage, and that comes with this house. The that building there comes with this house. I'm gonna. I should have done a better job at getting a video of the side of the the building. There's a door, and then so it's not the entire way back, but there's a door about halfway point, which I'll point out. Everything to the left of that, um, toward me. So right there, that door. Everything to the left is included in this house. Right now it's just storage. It could be an office. It could be a um, in-law suite. It could be a little apartment, whatever you want it to be. There is, but we didn't go into it and it is storage. It's not like plumbed and all that. It's, it's just storage. That place, that door has about five feet of storage on it um, underneath the house. So again, plenty of space for 25,000 euro. Now, this is a parking, you can park here also, but the gentleman let us go inside. He did give me permission to video, and this is a tribute to St. Christopher, but he did, again, gave me permission. The last picture I'm going to show you is that, that outdoor space off of the kitchen. I said there's some potential to do terrace. This is the kind of thing that could be done easily for there.